kids, it's Miss Karen. Today we're gonna to be doing a sticker number activity. Educators, in this activity, I wanna show you three different ways of utilizing this actual task mat. So you can feel free to use them all at the same time or you can break it up and do one activity one day, one activity the next day. I do try to show an easy, medium, and difficult activity. So find what's best for your kids. So in this activity, you notice that we have a bunch of letters, or I'm sorry, numbers, and we have a bunch of colors with the numbers down here. The way we use this activity is we are going to first look at this number, then we're gonna see what color it is, and then we're gonna color it on our chart. So the, the simplest way first is to just use our markers. You can also get these like at an office supply store, and um, I think they have pink ones as well because this one doesn't have the pink or the orange, and they can use this to take the sticker off and stick it on there, and that really helps with the fine motor. So first, before we want to start, I just want to warm up with you. So can you find the number two? There it is. Can you find the number three? There it is. Can you find the number five? Can you find the number one? Parents, one more thing I want to tell you is when I say now it's your turn, this is a great opportunity for you to pause the video and complete the activity with your child. So now it's your turn to go ahead and practice and warm up with those numbers. So the first way we're gonna do this activity is we're gonna get some markers or crayons, and like I said, if you wanna get those stickers, you can use those, but we're gonna just use our markers today. I'm going to pick a color. What color is this? That's right, it's pink. Do you see what number I should be coloring with the, the color pink? Number three. You can be doing this on your mat too. Now let's go and let's pick another color. What color is this? Green. What color, what number am I gonna color with the color green? That's right. So you don't have to color the same one as me, but you can find a number one. Now I'm gonna pick another color. I'm gonna pick blue. What number am I gonna color with the color blue? That's right, the two. Now it's your turn to complete this activity. The second way I like to play this activity is I like to either have a dice or I like to have dice cards. And of course, I'm always gonna keep my markers because we're practicing with markers as well. I, notice I have two boards in front of me. One of them is gonna be for me and one of them is gonna be for my friend. So if you're playing at this at home, your mom or educator can be playing on this mat or a friend and you're gonna be playing on this mat. So player one is going to take their dice and they're gonna roll it, one. So now this gets tricky. I have to find the number one at the bottom, one, and I have to remember what color to color it, green. Now it's your turn. Roll the dice, one, two, three, four, five, six. You're gonna find the six. What color do I need to color that six? That's right, yellow. So you would color it yellow. Then it would be my turn to play again. Now the tricky part of this game is if I roll a one, but I've already covered all of my ones, then my turn's over. And the first player to co color all of their, st their numbers on their mat wins the game. So now it's your turn to go ahead and finish this activity. Now this one's a little bit more difficult, but we're gonna try to give it a go. I'm gonna have some addition cards, and if you wanna go ahead before you start and make enough addition index cards to have the sum of one, the sum of two, the sum of three, four, five, six, so you have enough of them over here. And I like to just put them down, and then I like to use blocks. And again, if you don't have blocks, it's okay. You can really use any kind of manipulative. Just make sure that you have something that your child can um, use to count the numbers. All right, here we go. This says one plus two. How many blocks do I need to put for my first number in my addition problem? That's right, one. How many do I have to put for the second number? 
That's right, two. And I, at the beginning, I like to use just the same color so it's not confusing. How many blocks in all? One, two, three. Oh gosh, this is the tricky part again. Okay, I have a sum of three. So what number do you think I need to find at the bottom? That's right, the three. And what color do I need to color that? Pink, so smart. Okay, I'm gonna do one more for you. Three plus one. How many blocks do I need for the first number? That's right, three. How many blocks do I need for the second number? One. Can you count those for me? One, two, three, four. Okay, here's the tricky part. What number do I need to find down there? The four. And what color do I need to find on color one of the fours on my mat? Orange. Let's see which one. I think I'll color this one. Now it's your turn to use your addition cards and finish your task mat by using the addition cards to color all the numbers.